Hello everyone, in today's video I'll be showing you 5 tips and tricks on how to get more views on Scratch. And make sure to stay until the end of the video, because I have a special announcement for you guys that will definitely help you get more views as well. But now let's have a look at the tips and tricks. Step 1. Use a thumbnail. This is the first of several steps that revolve around the thumbnail, but that's just because the thumbnail is so important. So in case you don't know what a thumbnail is, well, I'm pretty sure you do, even if you don't realize it. Because I'm 99% sure that you clicked on this video because of its thumbnail. A thumbnail is a small image used to represent a video, or in our case a scratch project. We all know that thumbnails make the YouTube work go round, but on Scratch it's just the same. If a user gets one of your projects recommended to him or he sees it on your profile, the thumbnail is proven to be the most important factor in his decision making whether to click on it or ignore it. Having a bad thumbnail or no thumbnail at all can cost you a lot of views that you would be getting otherwise, just like on YouTube. Though on Scratch, the process of choosing a thumbnail is a bit different. On YouTube, you upload an image that you have on your computer and just set it as a thumbnail. But on Scratch, when you save your project, a screenshot is taken automatically and set as your thumbnail. To set your own thumbnail, you can do one of two things. You can import a picture which you had prepared before, and have it show as soon as your project stops, like this. So now when you stop the project, a screenshot will be taken and your picture will be set as the thumbnail. Or secondly, you can choose a moment of your animation or game that you like and save the project at the right time. Now step 2. Make sure your thumbnail is clickable. Now what I mean by this is try to imagine yourself seeing your thumbnail for the first time and asking yourself, would I click on this project? Some simple rules to go by are Number 1. Avoid having too much detail in your thumbnail. The viewer should get a basic idea of what the project is about within seconds of looking at your thumbnail. Number 2. Use colors to stand out. Red is a strong color, signaling urgent information. That's also the reason why your phone notifications and all those circles and arrows on YouTube are all red, because viewers simply can't ignore them. Number 3. Make sure the motif of your thumbnail is easily distinguishable on all screen sizes. Some people might see your thumbnail on a 32 inch screen like me, but think about the people using smaller screens and now with Scratch 3.0, even tablet and phone users. And number 4, make your thumbnail in a dedicated image editor, either making the image in the Scratch editor or using a third party image editor. For this I highly recommend GIMP, because it's free and thanks to the many YouTube tutorials and intuitive design in general, it's quite easy to learn. Number 3, animated thumbnails. Now, this is really a trick more than a tip, but think about it. If a thumbnail with strong colors can catch the user's attention, imagine what a moving thumbnail can do. I've used animated thumbnails on some of my projects in the past and they've always worked great. I'll upload a video very soon where I'll explain how to make one for your own projects. Simply click on the info card up there on the top right corner or open the link in the description to get there. Step 4. Now that you've made a perfect thumbnail for your project, it's time to work on the second aspect of your project's first glance appearance, its title. While your project title should obviously describe what your project is about and not be some made up nonsense, I can give you some tips on how to optimize your title. Number 1. Think about capitalization. Just like the strong colors of your thumbnails, big letters will attract more attention. While you should avoid making your entire project name all caps, you can write some of the most important words in capitalized letters. Number 2. Put the most important information at the front of your title. If your project title is a bit longer, it can happen that the end gets cut off in some cases. To make sure that the potential viewer gets the most relevant information anyways, you can phrase your title in a way that the relevant information is at the beginning. And the fifth and final step, become more active in the Scratch community. By this I don't mean just spam the link to your project everywhere. That will only serve to annoy everyone else and you might even get your comment reported. Instead try to post interesting, engaging comments on popular projects. When they see an interesting remark by someone, most people will at least consider having a look at the person's profile. Even if the percentage of people that actually do this is quite small, the more people you engage with, the higher the chances will be that someone will look at your page. And now, thanks to your excellent project titles and thumbnails, they are far more likely to check out your projects than they would have been otherwise. Another good idea is to add your projects to studios that have similar topics. Some studios are open, letting anyone add their projects to them. 
Simply search for some key terms that have to do with your project and look for studios that might advertise what your project has to offer. And now it's time for my announcement. I have created a new studio named Projects of the Week, where you can get me to make a video about your project. Every week I will make a video featuring the projects of that week and the best ones will be added to the studio for everyone to see. Suggesting your project is quite easy. Simply go to the comment section either on one of my YouTube videos or on the studio on Scratch and comment the link to your project. With a bit of luck, your project can appear in the Project of the Week video and might even be added to the studio. Now, prepare your best projects and audition for the prize of Project of the Week. Good luck and see you in the next video.